Do I look like I've been crying? <laughs> I don't think so. So hopefully not, because I was at work. <laughs> and I'm like, are you at work? <sighs> Fuck. Today, this morning. I'm like, I'm not even hungry, but I'm going to lunch at 11 because I'm allowed to. Our time frame is anytime between 11 and 2. So. I'm going to lunch, and if any more hospital workers try to call on me, at least I won't be like in the middle of trying to work. Hey, I'm not even that hot, like, even though it's like less, it's colder than it was when I originally drove in. But it doesn't feel as cold as it was this morning, so I don't know. I don't know. But. This morning, oh my god, this morning has been emotional, and like I hadn't cried about mommy at all, up until like, like this is the first time, like this today. Today is the first time I've actually, like, cried, cried about it. And these, like, you never really know what's going to set you off. I'm not a quick crier, but I'm a random crier. Like, <laughs> the most random shit causes me to cry. Maybe it's not random, but to me, I'm just like, oh, yeah, when I put her in the hospital, I didn't cry. When uh, they were telling me, oh, it went to the bone the infection I didn't cry when they were telling me oh she has other infections we don't know where they're coming from we might have to do more invasive treatment I didn't cry but <sighs> talking to the hospice nurse because the doctor this morning asked me do you want hosp do you want me to have hospice call you and talk to you and I went, fine, have them talk to me. You people keep mentioning it. So yes, I guess I should talk to them. And you know, their thing is she's so malnut she has such malnutrition, but it doesn't surprise them because if she has dementia, then She's not feeling the desire to eat. And that just puts a lot into perspective because I, I remember <laughs> Amy would call me, tell me she hasn't been able to get her to eat. She doesn't want it, she won't eat it, she won't accept it. She'll say she wants the cookie, but she just holds the cookie. And I know for a fact, cookies are one of her favorite things. And you know, at first I thought, it must be her teeth. Her teeth are bothering her. So she would just hold it, and she wouldn't eat it. But then I, we would make soft cookies, and she wouldn't eat that either. Sometimes she would eat it, because if she said she was hungry, hell yeah, I'm going to feed her. Like, for a couple days in a row, all she ate was cream of wheat. And I was like, if that's what she wants, let her have it, because she eats it, and she eats all of it. And basically what, <coughs> what hospice says is they do comfort feeding. And comfort feeding is basically if she's hungry, she's hungry. Feed her. Give her whatever. If she's not, she's not. Don't. You can offer, but don't force. <coughs> they don't believe the wound is going to heal. They, the way they described it, it sounds like it's gotten worse. They're saying, they mentioned the word sepsis. They mentioned sepsis. And I'm like, that's way worse. <laughs> and they asked me, do you think that she would have wanted just to pass peacefully? And I'm like, who doesn't want to pass peacefully? And it just brought me back to this conversation. Like the last time she was, 
the last time she was caught. Last time she was like, where? With me. She got up, she walked to my bedroom. Cause I had, um, I was editing that video where I said that she wanted to That just happened. Like, I saw my phone ring. I had a moment of shit. I didn't give him back his mower like I was supposed to yesterday. He's probably calling about that. And then I answered, and it's some other lady, and instantly, who cold, like, chill runs through you. And she's like, Is this Valerie? And so I'm like, Yes. Like your father is at a hospital. You need to get your mom and come. And I try to ask them what was wrong, and she's like, I can't tell you, and that's a sign. Okay, when they say they can't tell you over the phone what's wrong, and they can't like assure you, oh everything's okay. Uh everything's not okay, and they just don't want to tell you so you don't lose your shit. That was like instant and you know, you just get hit with it, he's gone, he's dead. This, this feels weird. Having to decide to let her die. dry throat are you fucking kidding me I just I am not coughing at least but I gotta even know if I can talk about it right now because I am just like in a moment of heightened emotion so I'm gonna eat and get a drink of something. I said last night I wanted to have some liquor and I didn't. So I did have apple pie with caramel though, so that's something, but <sighs> Alright, I am sorry. Like I, there's probably not even gonna be a lot of this part in it, but because who wants to post themselves crying? Other than to show I am not a monster. Because <laughs> you hear people sometimes talk about like, oh, they take um, mental health drugs and I'm taking it for ADHD. Basically what I'm taking is also for anxiety, but it's supposed to help ADHD. So yeah, my anxiety has dipped down quite a bit. I am happy about that. Um, and sometimes you wonder, oh, am I not having an emotional reaction because of that? Is it turning me into a zombie? And that my sister sent me some memes and she was like, these remind me of you. Don't get offended. And I'm not. Any, There's honestly nothing my sister can say to me that really offends me. She's just trying to be honest. Um, oh. She's like, memes are cheaper than therapy, so this is for you. <laughs> Not sure if I'm invincible or emotionally numb. And then she sent another one. And I said, I think I'm good at a crisis. Like we had just enough trauma that it's given me this, okay, be sad, moment over, do the thing. <laughs> Like, you definitely have the response of, let me make everything, make, 
Let me make sure everything is handled. Then I'll take a moment for a cry. <laughs> oh. So she sent me this other one and said, I just saw a guy in a library cry for five or so minutes. Then his phone alarm went off and he just stopped crying and went right back to work. And she's like, that's you. I was like, how dare you, ma'am? How dare you? Oh, shit. I'm back and not a blubbering sack of snot. All right, I can tell you basically what we what I've decided. Decided definitely DNR and DNI. Because we do not want to I don't want to go to stunts and measures, especially if this is really just the disease taking its course and maybe, yeah, she's at the end stage of it and I hear she's not eating and she's got this wound and it's her body just deciding, I'm done! So yes, maybe. Um. So the TikTok was, how are we going to take care of our parents? Now, I do have an answer for that. I work in aging. I understand a possibility of, like, you know, how it could go. But here's the thing. There are programs. They have limitations. Um, there's also an in-home worker shortage, which, rightfully so. Those people deserve to be paid all the money. All the money. They are amazing. The ones that are amazing. I know that it varies from caregiver to caregiver. But the point is that job sucks and <laughs> anyone in a caregiver's position that actually like you know does a good job deserves all the money um so while there are programs you know a lot of times there it's it's a process to get through them and a lot of times it gets put on you and your family it it's always expected to go on you and your family you know, those services are just meant to wrap around whatever care you and your family provide. And I can't push my mother on Amy. I can't. And I have to work full time. And my husband has to work full time. Thank goodness. I'm exhausted mentally. <laughs> I was ready for the day to be over at one. And that's not good. That's not good at all. Luckily, they didn't have that many calls today. Um, oh, shit. Um, Crozier didn't call me at all this afternoon. So I guess that's good. I just, do I have any more of these napkins? Do I have any more napkins or did I use them all? I think I might have, oh no, there they are, yay. <coughs> Every time I'm like, yay, my sinuses are clearing. Next day, no. Let me tell you what, crying really clears the sinuses. <laughs> I just... I think the reason that my sister sent me those memes and why she said that they reminded me, they reminded her of me, is that... Well, yes, even though I did today decide that mommy 
we'll be going to hospice and that I do agree with a DNR and a DNI. Um, and those are heavy on the heart and heavy on the mind. I also have other things. I have to go home and relieve Amy. I have to cook dinner and take care of my children. I have to keep watch of my phone because there is an Obra that I told someone to um, submit today and she hasn't yet, but I know how she rolls and likely I will get that email around six or seven tonight. <laughs> her supervisor was like, we told her to submit it today. She didn't. And I'm like, the day is not over. We know her style. We know how she is. This is not surprising behavior. And no, technically, if she submits it tonight, after hours, it's not late. It's not due to the state until tomorrow. You know, the hospital is just eager to have it. And the faster we get it, you know, <clears throat> the faster we get it to the state, the faster their decision is made. And... the faster everything's resolved. So when they go to the guardianship um, case for this person, when they go for guardian for this person, at least that'll be done. And once again, I haven't worked on the meal plan at all. Uh, maybe I'll just tell my husband, you go shopping. You think of the list. Here's the stuff I know we need. You think of the list. And you think of the meal plan. Hopefully it's stuff that I know how to cook. Because sometimes he goes and looks for recipes. And I'm just like, what? I've never made that. Why do you want me to make that? I do have to work that day, you know. I don't because sometimes I don't. Thank you for watching. I say this day did not go as I expected. Like I expected, you know, a normal boring Wednesday. Little did I know. <laughs> Little did I know I would be agreeing that yes, let's let mommy pass away in peace and you know realizing that maybe her reluctance to eat wasn't because she was being stubborn, but because maybe her brain really was telling her she wasn't that hungry. And everything was shutting down. So, thank you for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you get the day you deserve. Remember that you are important, you're worthwhile, don't fall for scams, if it's too good to be true it is, don't reply to cold messages you get on TikTok or Instagram.